Monday, April 7th at 6.30 a.m. A few hours ago, we kidnapped police officer Michael while he was going to work. If you want to keep him alive, I need one million dollars by tomorrow morning. If not, you will die a terrible death. Deliver the money under the green bridge. I will be waiting. We received this video at 6 30 this morning. It was sent to us in a blank envelope with the CD inside. Sadly, no digital prints were found on the CD or the envelope itself. Our forensic team analyzed every detail in the video and found that the kidnapper has this tattoo on his or her forearm. At the moment, we are processing the tattoo to compare it to gang-related tattoos in the area. Detective Michael's wife claims that their husband left at 4.30 this morning and she hasn't heard from him since. We found his car left abandoned on Carlton Street at 6 a.m. And we need three people to go investigate Michael's car. Without if there are tire marks or sight of forced entry. We also needed two people to search security cameras between Michael's house and his abandoned car. Report back if any of you find anything. Steve Coleman speaking. Yes. We'll be there soon. What is it? The forensic team finds something. This isn't a good idea. Yeah. I know, but the bus says we have to do it, so we do it. That's how it's work, Ivy. We're going to get caught. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life in prison, Jennifer? You just have to have a little faith. Serena so knows what she's doing, and we have to stick together. I'm not too sure about that. We already acted when once. I don't want to do that again. You worry too much, Ivy. Just relax. I will take care of you like I always have. the police are tattooing the video. It won't be long until they find out what it means. I need both of you to keep a low profile in the meantime. We have to go and load the truck anyways. We're leaving tonight as soon as we get the money. Are you sure this is going to work? Maybe we should leave now while we still have a chance. Everything is going to be alright. And what if the police come? They will find the crates and we'll be in the prison for the rest of our life. You both just need to trust me. Now, go and load the trucks. The tattoo represents an apple tree with three apples hanging from it. It's similar to the symbol for an apple orchard three miles from here. It's owned by the Gonzalez sisters. Why would the owners of an apple orchard want to kidnap a police officer? I don't know, but it's worth looking into. Okay, I want you to find all the information you can get on the Gonzalez sisters. Okay, I will call you with, when I find something. Around, maybe you should come and help us. I'm the oldest, therefore. I make the decision and you execute them. If you don't want to stay, just leave. Maybe I will. But leave, it seems like all you care about is money and yourself. I don't care what you do. Enough, both of you! No one is doing anywhere. We're all stressed here. We have to stay together. That's what family does. She's acting like a child. So are you, Serena? We keep fighting like this, especially right now? She's right. We can attract attention. It looks good. the information I could get. The Gonzalez sisters are three women. There's Serena Gonzalez, she's 25. 
The second one is Jennifer Gonzalez. She's 21 years old. And lastly, there's Ivy Gonzalez. She's 18 years old. They moved here from Miami two years ago. When they got here, they decided to go into the apple selling business. Do we know why they moved here? Well, there are rumors that they owed a lot of money to many people and they couldn't pay up. Do we know who they owed money to? No, we don't, but they will probably be able to pay their debts now. And why is that? Apparently, they are millionaires now. From selling apples? That doesn't make any sense. Unless they do more than just sell apples. I see we go pay a little visit to the Gonzalez sisters. Okay, let's go. situation. Unlawful possession of firearms, assaulting an officer, and even possible kidnapping. You're facing major time in prison. You're lucky if you get out by the time you're 40. Unless... Unless what? I betray my family? No, unless you help us save an innocent man. I don't know much, honestly. Serena never told me a lot. Then where is he? The police officer, that is. All I know is that we had an insider on the police force and he helped us get into Canada. The deal was that if he gave us a clean slate. We had to give him a third of our earnings. Do you know the name of the person that was helping you? I have no idea. Serena's the only one who knows who it is. Okay, we're done. What do we do now? We wait. Once we get that million dollar, we can escape and disappear forever. And what about Ivy? What's going to happen to her? She'll probably go to the prison because of your plan. Look where we are now. She was stupid enough to get caught. She's no longer a problem. No longer a problem? You promised us that we'd be safe here. You lied to us. And now you don't want to help her? I can't believe you. Where are you going? I'm trying to save my sister. It's too late. Coleman, it's me, Taylor. It's getting late and you aren't back yet. Call me when you get this. If you ever want to see Detective Coleman again, 
Bring the money to 201 Carlisle East. You have until 8 p.m. Turn around. It was you? All this time you were fooling everyone? I didn't have a choice. There's always a choice. You found out my secret. If word got out that I was helping illegal gun traffickers, my life would be ruined. Helping them? How? I helped them get into the country, have a fresh start. Then why would you need a million dollars? To make sure I had enough to disappear without a trace. And now what are you going to do? Now I know your secret too. I guess I have to do this.